Hello everybody and welcome back to Grand Bazaar. It is time for our first sales day of the summer season. We're almost a week in and I spent most of the morning off screen organizing my inventory. I had a lot of stuff to go through, but ultimately I think I've got a pretty nice lineup here of stuff. This will really allow me to sort of clean things out. A lot of bugs in here. There's actually some that I can get rid of that I forgot to take out. Uh, some of them I'm going to be selling and some of them are to be gift wrapped. I've also got seeds. I've got some crops, some animal products, and some cooked goods. And I don't really have to do any watering today because I was able to clear out all of my radishes in time for the festival. I have gone ahead and regrown a small batch over here and I also have a few things in my basement growing. And I'm just gonna have to put the work in when I get home in order to make room for all the new seeds that we're gonna be buying over at the bazaar. I'm planning to completely fill the fields back up. And I've even got a little bit of inventory space to pick up a few things along the way. And if I could fit it, I suppose I could squeeze in another ball of wool. I already have two necklaces in my inventory, so I'm going to leave these here and save them for another sales day. And we're going to get there pretty much right on time today. And that will allow us to have a nice early start. So fingers crossed that I can get rid of some of the stuff that I've been holding on to and I've got a nice variety of items here and I also have the numbers not just a variation in product but I've got some stuff here that I actually have quite a bit of and hopefully that will take a little bit of time to sell you can see that I harvested all of my radishes and I got a lot out of that. I also have a few bugs here that are worth a pretty decent amount of money. I've got some cicadas that are worth a couple hundred dollars each. But the big money maker is the Emperor Firefly that I just randomly caught going into year two. I believe this particular species is not able to be unlocked until your second year, but that is some big money for some bugs. So I'm definitely going to be putting that out immediately. I'm gonna start with these items here. I'll save my necklace for later. And hopefully we can sell some stuff today because for the first time in a while, we are actually going to be spending some very, very major cash at this bazaar. And fortunately, with the money we have now, we could probably afford to buy everything that I want. But we are still in the business of expanding our bazaar. So we have to go out there and sell as much as we can between all of the bugs that I managed to get rid of, I just tossed and got rid of them, and all the stuff that we're going to sell today. Hopefully that will sort of help my chronically overstuffed inventory issue a little bit. I'll be nice and give that guy the item. We actually haven't had a lot of people come and talk to us here first thing, but it's very early on in the day. So we'll see how mean I end up being all day. I 
could probably afford to be a little bit mean if I have enough people coming to talk to me so that I don't lose out on all of my reputation. But not too shabby. A bunch of people have been buying some of our more expensive items. The grass seeds are very, very popular. The asparagus soup, which is also worth quite a bit of money. And in our first two hours, we've made just under $60,000. If it keeps going like this, it'll be interesting to see what we end up with at the end of the day for total sales. I guess you can have my strawberry seed. It's not worth a lot of money. And I'm going to put out some of my radishes because I have a lot of these, obviously. And you'll notice that between the two stacks is a huge variation in price. And I'm actually going to refrain from putting out the star and a half radishes right now because the price on this is 100% not accurate, not even close. I think five star radishes are about $900. So for some reason, in this emulator, I've been having issues with radishes and I had the same issue last year where the prices were not reflecting properly. And I don't know what causes this, but last year, my radishes were worth almost nothing and this year I have the opposite problem where the price has doubled with only half a star quality more. Now I am obviously going to have to still work on getting rid of those radishes so I do have to sell them at some point but what I will probably do is sell them to Raul instead because he'll buy them for half price. And that feels a little bit more honest. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things because it's not like we really need money anyways, but I feel like that will push us towards our expansion goal a little bit faster. It'll make it a lot easier for us to get our sales numbers in. So it does make it easier and it's not accurate of what they would be worth in the actual game so I don't really feel like that's too fair. The other thing I might do just out of curiosity is perhaps try and turn them into radish soup. Maybe if I cook it with another ingredient, it'll change the value. So I'm gonna hold off on those for now, but I've put out my large stack that I had of the radishes that are the actual price, almost at $180,000. And we might finish up kind of early here because I actually don't have much inventory left. What we have here is pretty much all that I have. And I also filled my inventory up. It's not like I left huge gaps in my inventory before coming here. And when we started, I thought, you know, maybe what we had was gonna last us a long period of time just because I had large numbers of these items but we've had a lot of shoppers today our store has been very very popular and we are clearing things out very very quickly not even three o'clock yet and we are almost at the two hundred thousand dollar mark it's also nice to see Dirk and Antoinette I was right. I couldn't remember who came to us during the summer and I had just kind of guessed off the top of my head based on 
very vague memories that these two were coming and uh, I was right, so that's kind of nice. We have 70 radishes left and 67 grass seeds. So if all else fails and that's all we're left with, at least we have really, really large numbers of those. And hopefully we'll get some people who are interested in those items to come and buy them. I might as well just stay for the majority of the day even if I'm only left with the two items just to see how much money I can make and to try and get rid of them. Antoinette and Dirk were both very very chatty today so that's nice. We definitely have the reputation that we need to get the best customer service award. I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. And if Grandpa would just come by and maybe buy a huge stack of stuff, then that would be insanely awesome. I doubt it's going to happen. But that would be a very easy way to get rid of a very large stack of items. I love that number at the very top. I almost just want to quit on that number because it's so satisfying to look at. Man, Dirk apparently has some pretty deep pockets. He's stuck around to buy quite a few things today. And it looks like we have a little bit of a lull in traffic. It's kind of thinned out a little bit here. And we just have a few hours to go. So I'm going to ring my bell like crazy and just kind of get the final push of customers at the store. Clearly, by our sales numbers, we could quit right now because I think we're gonna get first in both categories. And I definitely need to make some more grass seeds because uh, I think that's all I have is just this one bag. I had stopped making them for a while because I had so many and I was being conscientious of bag space and I didn't want to lean too heavily on them. But now it's probably a good idea for me to have some of those because all of my strawberry seeds sold. I don't have strawberry seeds to sell. And we haven't grown much in summer yet to figure out whether we're gonna have any profitable seeds to sell this season. And despite the fact that we've been just ping-ponging between these two items for quite a while, we do still have interested buyers. People are still buying. Again, a fantastic sales numbers. I'm really happy with that. And that's it! Our radishes are gone and we have six seeds left. Oh my god, okay. We only have like 10 minutes worth of sales left, but wouldn't that have just been perfect if we would have been able just to get rid of them all? There we go. Yes. Thank you. 601. One minute over when we usually quit and we've sold all of the items we brought today. I feel great about that. Fantastic sales day we got rid of all of our items and we now have over seven hundred thousand dollars to play with so great time to stop and to go and check some things out all right we met the goal let's go so over at chen's he is still like he was last year selling both pumpkin and corn seeds and I've kind of debated whether I wanted to go full out on corn. Corn isn't the most profitable thing in the world and I don't know that it's honestly worth it to do a full field but we just weren't able to really afford much corn last year because the seeds are so incredibly expensive. 
going to take a chance though because they're replenishing the crops and by the time that these come in, it might be worth it. I don't know. I'm taking a bit of a risk here. But I'm going to buy a full field of corn. I'm going to buy 24 seeds worth of pumpkin. And I'm going to probably split those up with radishes, which is why I'm not buying a full field worth. And so that is it from Chen. Moving on down to Raul's store, he still refuses to sell me onions and I'm pretty sure I will just never be able to get them at this point, which is very disappointing. However, he is selling tomatoes again for us this year and in year two, you unlock pineapples. So we will buy a full field of tomatoes. Again, this is just what I decided to do, but if you want to make the most amount of money and just absolutely jack your profits, this is not the way to do it. So I'm just giving a disclaimer now. I'm doing this for the sake of variety and because I won't have to fertilize corn and tomatoes once they're fully mature, which will be kind of nice. I want a little bit of a break after doing it all last season. If you have the money and you're able to buy them and you want to make all of the money and you want to kind of speed run this game and get the bazaar leveled up faster, go ahead and buy pineapples and go crazy. Buy as many as you can. Remember that pineapples cannot be destroyed by summer storms. So the only thing that is going to kill pineapples is if you forget to water them. So I feel like pineapples are much easier to look after in this game because spending the money on the seeds, as long as you water them and take care of them, you'll be fine. The other amazing thing about these, now they take pretty much all season to come in, which is pretty standard. Almost every single Harvest Moon game, at, or the older ones at the very least, have always kind of had this with pineapples. They're very expensive, highly profitable, and they also take a very long time to grow in. But if you do this early enough, you can possibly get a second harvest before the season is over. And by spending $1,400 per seed, you don't even have to fertilize these if you don't want to. Even if you do absolutely nothing to these, you will get double the profit for a pineapple. So I'm not going to fill an entire field worth. I'm going to buy 30 of them just because they are a little bit of a risk. They do take a long time to grow and I kind of want some variety going on. So I'm going to buy 30, but honestly, if you can afford it, fill up as many fields as you can. Keep some on standby for your basement. But again, I don't want to go too crazy. At this point, I'm not exactly trying to speed run the game per se. I only have one piece of gold at home currently, but I'm going to buy three pieces of silver regardless just so that I have them. I'm going to drop a little bit of money on those so that I can keep making some necklaces. I will do my wrapping off screen, of course. You can see now that Felix has magically decided that he's going to fill all four slots of his counter, whereas last time he had only filled three slots. And because of that, we were only able to buy the dog bone last time. The cat bell was not available. 
So this time around, we are going to buy the cat bell so that we can train our cats. And those were really the only purchases that I wanted to make. I looked around and there wasn't really any good food that I wanted. Sherry has some new tree seeds available now that the seasons have switched over. She has a peach and a banana seed here. And then Diego also has a cherry tree you can buy. So we have three different unique trees for the summer season. We ended up spending quite a bit of money. I definitely could have spent way more than that easily. But if you are just looking to fast track your bazaar at this point, selling pineapples is the way to go. However, I am still gonna go just for a bit of variety and the way that I'm doing it, we'll just see how it works out. I will take the time, obviously, to plant everything and we'll see what that looks like when I actually do it. But by the time I'm done planting and sorting all of that out, I should have a little bit of everything. And then to close things out, we will, of course, just come on over and listen to our bizarre results. And if I wasn't getting a prize each week, I probably just wouldn't even bother because I know it's going to be a while until we get our expansion. We also oversold Lloyd by almost a hundred thousand dollars. So we absolutely crushed it. We did amazing. You really support this bazaar. Damn right I do. We are also going to have the happiest customers. We had lots and lots and lots of people talk to us. Very, very sociable customers today. <laughs> and are we going to get yogurt again? I guess we're going to find out. Yep. Interesting. Thank you. I'm so used to getting tea cans. Now it's so weird to get yogurt every time. But it's fine. And who knows, maybe one day I'll just cut out the bizarre results altogether and just show everybody what my prize is, but I guess it doesn't take very long to go and watch them. On our calendar this week, we have absolutely diddly squat going on. It's a quiet week. The only person who has a birthday this week is Dirk. And if you were at the bazaar, a good gift for him would be a beetle. So if you could wrap a beetle in some red wrapping paper, that will be a fantastic gift for him. That's actually what I've done on my own file. And then we have our bazaar on the Saturday. So I'm hoping maybe I'll be able to update on something somewhere in this week because otherwise, we're gonna have another summer where we have large gaps because there's just nothing going on. But it gives me lots and lots of time to play and to focus on the farm and to make sure that all the crops are looked after. 
So I will get back to work and I will be back when I have something of importance to let everybody in on. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.